Meet Ryan Kendall, a boy who has been dealt a difficult hand that the average gamer would immediately fold. But despite this, has inspired love, compassion, and an appreciation for life in every person he's touched. I just remember thinking, God, this kid has so much love for someone he doesn't even know yet, but he knows she's important to my Uncle Todd. I can't count the number of times when I've walked into the room and he said something like, you look beautiful today, or I'm really glad you're my aunt. And with Ryan, you really know that he truly means what he's saying. A lot of people would always be focused on themselves and, you know, he's an 11-year-old boy and all he wants to do is take care of his sisters and his family. Ryan Foster Kendall, now 11 years old, son of a marketing mom and a policeman, and brother of two, has never shied away from showing affection for his family. For many years, the house belonged to just Ryan and his older sister by two years, Lauren. Lauren would get so aggravated with him because Ryan was always going up and he always wanted to kiss her and hold her hand. And of course, Lauren was at the age where this was just not acceptable. After a strong bond was forged between the two, his younger sister, Kira, arrived when he was six. I think Kira feels a lot of love towards Ryan. Me and Ryan do everything together. Uh, 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 uh. Spawned from a family known for its outstanding, if not unique, sense of humor, it's no surprise that Ryan has pounced on every opportunity to bring joy to others through his own comic relief. He asked me why my knees hurt, and I said, oh, I'm just old. And he said, Grandma, you're not old. Old people have gray hair. Dad has gray hair, he's old. Though Ryan always loves a good laugh, his undying love for music has opened avenues for him to express himself creatively and connect with others. I remember him singing Free Fallen, because Tom Petty was his, his guy at the time. And he may have embellished some of the lyrics, made them his own. Uh, what was it? Uh, she's a good girl, crazy about Cheez-Its. He's got a taste for music that's well beyond his 11 years. I had taken Lauren to see Phantom of the Opera and I had gotten her the CD. Ryan loved it. He asked me to come over and when I got there, he sang me every song from the opera because he knew it was one of my favorites. Like many other boys, video games and local sports teams hold his interest. But role playing is by far his favorite activity. And there's only one role he'll play. Quite simply, the good guy. He wanted to be a police officer like his dad. So I think that it, it stems from that desire and he could, you know, really relate to an action hero. And so Star Wars and Superman and Batman. And Spider-Man, all those are our natural heroes, and, and he could really be just like them, just like his dad. I think Ryan likes superheroes because they can do things that normal people can't like me and him. They can save people, and I think he just wants to like find some way to feel like he's always good and he never does anything wrong. I like to think that he wants to be the superhero so badly so that he can save somebody else. He wants to be the guy who makes a difference. You don't have to be a superhero. You just have to be Ryan and, you, and you've made a difference. So why are we here? This hardly sounds like a child who requires any special care. It hardly seems possible that this sweet and caring boy is the same one who by age eight had already been suspected of having bipolar and attention deficit hyperactivity disorders and been diagnosed with childhood onset schizophrenia. It doesn't sound like the actions of a child who had to cheat death numerous times, including the superheroic act of recovering from a series of strokes in his brain. Unfortunately, this is the same child, and he has been diagnosed with a rare form of leukodystrophy, a horrible terminal illness that is emotionally and financially draining. You know, this is a kid that's really been through a lot of pain and suffering for a very long time and he just wants to be a kid and he just wanted to, to feel better and be able to go out and play and do all the things that a normal kid wants to do and enjoy. He doesn't give up, no matter the circumstances. And he has surprised many of us over the last few months on how tenacious he is with life. You know, if 
We take away just one thing from celebrating Ryan's life. No matter what's thrown at you, get up and fight it and go on. And while you're doing it, have a smile on your face and a hug for those around you. On behalf of the Kendall family, thank you, every one of you, for supporting the Kendall family during this difficult time. There is no gift, no heroic act that can deliver us a healthy Ryan. But your involvement, donations, and emotional support offers comfort that the world is full of extraordinary people. Good guys, a league of superheroes abiding by the principles Ryan feels so strongly toward and now has become a symbol for. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. And I love you all, people.